What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. As always, I am Kelsey of Celine and Me. If you are new here, welcome. Celine is my three pound Yorkie and together on this channel we make loads of videos about fashion, both human and dog based product reviews, hauls, unboxings, vlogs, and the overall dog mom life of a teacup Yorkie. So if you're interested in any of that, please go ahead and hit subscribe and let's jump right into this video. So if you clicked on today's video, we are here for an unboxing first impressions on a travel carrier for Celine. With that being said, Celine will be in this video a little bit later. We're going to go through the product first and then we're going to see what she thinks of it. If you watched my most recent um, day in the life video, I did talk about I wanted to take Celine to Petcon this year and part of that involves taking her on an airplane and I've never taken Celine on an airplane before. I've seen lots of her friends go on the airplane and I watch loads of videos about people taking their dogs on the airplane. I know it's a normal thing. It makes me a little nervous just because she is only three pounds. Not saying that you can't bring tiny teacup micro-sized dogs on planes. It just makes me very nervous. She does really well in the car, so I'm hoping that she'll do just as well on the plane. But that also means that I had to get an airline approved carrier. And in that video, I was talking about looking for a carrier, looking to take her on a flight. And so I kind of just up one day and booked the flight and the flight's gonna be about an hour and a half so I shouldn't be too bad but I did find a carrier for Celine's airline travel so here it is it is shocker by a wild one um, I know I did end up picking one of the more popular ones but it's kind of one of those things where I did not want to be the guinea pig of something like this I wanted to get one that was I knew it was airline approved and that had a lot of good reviews already because we are talking about Celine's safety and well-being so I don't want to make her the guinea pig of something like that but anyways this is the box that it comes in wild one always has really cool like packaging can't miss it it was very fast shipping it comes also with this little care package instructions. This is just kind of showing you what the product is, what it comes with, what you can do with it, and why it is such a great carrier. You don't have to use this carrier strictly on the airplane. You can use it for domestic car, train, subway travels as well. So one of the things I love that complies with most airline pet policies is that it is super super ventilated. I do have like I said maybe I'll grab it for you. I do have this bag right here that has places where Celine could get some ventilation but as far as having like fully ventilated sides and I think it has to have at least three sides ventilated to be airline compliant. This one only has one. Even if it didn't have to have three sides, I would still like more ventilation than what this offers. It's technically size compliant, but not ventilation compliant. They did have a number of other colors. I know the most popular ones are black and beige. The beige is beautiful. But I know myself well enough to know that I'm going to get that dirty very quickly. Also, I am somebody that likes to have things to match, clearly. I wanted something that I could easily match with whatever luggage I got. I did get my luggage set. This is going to match perfectly. Everything is just plain black. I love that the logo is like practically seamless. It just blends right in with the bag. I love that even the tassels are like that leather, more durable material. Um, I just think little details like that matter. I love how smooth and seamless the zipper is. It's like little things like that that just fully make me satisfied with this purchase. Even the hardware, like everything is like black on black, right? It has, it's like a black with a matte finish to it. Everything is like compartmented so even the sides here like you can open as like 
a little window. It's just a little window, easy access, give them their treat, some water or something while you're kind of waiting around the airport or if you just don't want them to be out. There is a sleeve for, you know, to be able to slip it right on top of the handle of your luggage, of your rolling luggage, and I think that is super convenient. The two pockets back here, they're little slip pockets. I love them. You can put your phone in there, you can put your boarding pass in there, your ID, anything that you might need easy access to but you may not have enough hands for. One of my favorite parts about this bag is the crossbody or the shoulder strap. I love that it has this padding here, but I think the coolest part about the shoulder strap is it doubles as a leash. So hold on. I didn't know this when I first got it because I'm going to be honest, I did not read all of like the packaging or everything that they put up about it online. So where is it? Here it is. You've got this, right? This is a shoulder strap. It is adjustable to be as long or as short as you desire. But if you move the actual padded part of the shoulder strap over, it's, over. it's got a loop right here to take one of the ends, the closest end on the shoulder strap, hook it there, and you now have a makeshift leash. Obviously, this is a huge leash for a dog as small as Celine, but you still have a leash. Maybe you put their leash in your checked-in luggage, you forgot it, you stuck it really far down in your carry-on, and you don't, you just want to be lazy and you don't feel like going in there and getting it. You can take this right off, hold on to this end, hook it to the loop, hook this end to your dog, adjust it to as long or as short as you would like it, and you are ready to go. I love efficiency. I forgot to mention that this does come wrapped over top of the paper that this is wrapped into. Um, it just kind of is just nice, pretty little packaging for it. For the details, I'm going to give them to you here in case you are wondering and you're thinking about getting this bag. Again, it is very lightweight, it's very durable, and the material is easily washable or cleanable, I should say. So for sizing, it is airline compliance. The length is 17 and a half inches, the width is 11 inches, and then the height is... Um, 10 inches, right? They do recommend this for dogs 16 pounds and under. And again, this is a durable outer core to this bag. It is neoprene, 90% polyester, 10% spandex. The inner lining is 100% polyester and the mesh panels are 100% polyester as well. There is a travel mat inside and we will get into that in one second here. So. The only other thing I want to kind of bring up for the outside of this bag is that there is a pocket in the front for anything you might want to have on hand while you are sitting on the plane that you can't easily access either in your carry-on or in your checked bag. You can stick maybe your dog's food, maybe a travel bowl, some treats, maybe an extra toy or something in this front pocket and you'll be good to go. I hooked this onto the outside so I wouldn't lose it. This is actually an interior clip. It's like a double clip. It's for safety purposes. So like even they have them in dog strollers where you can kind of hook your dog on so that they don't go flying out. Um, it's the same thing for this bag. I just kind of hooked it out here, but that is an item that you will get when you purchase this. I kind of just revealed to you like one of the best parts about this bag is you can fully open it up to how you would need it. You have the option to fully close both sides if you get to a point where all right they don't need this outer ventilation or you're just trying to store it or maybe it's cold so once you're off the plane you want to keep your dog warm by just having them ventilated at the top. You have the option to zip these parts closed. I don't even know if you can see what I'm talking about but this right here you have the option to close them. Same thing on this side as well. You have all the options are there to do what you would like to do with this bag. Part of this in buying this kind of 10, I feel like 12 in one, 
is that you can actually make this your dog's bed for your trip. You don't have to bring an extra bed or go purchase one or kind of have a makeshift one if you don't um, have them sleeping in the bed with you or, you know, there's a hotel policy against that. You can actually make this a bed. Close those sides that I was telling you about. This is your inner mat that we talked about. Open it up. And voila, you have a makeshift dog bed. And I think it's a great option if you are going somewhere really quick overnight. You don't want to bring too much extra items. You don't have enough room for extra items or you just don't want to bring an extra bed. This can be a makeshift bed. Maybe bring a blanket or a pillow. Well, I think it is just that added like little measure that probably did not take much more to make this bag this functional. And it is and I appreciate that. And once you're done with the bed part, you just fold the lining back up, stick it right back into the base of the bag, and zip everything up, and you're back in business. Voila, we are back at square one. I am now going to grab Celine and see what she thinks of it, because again, I can sit here and say I love this all day long. It does what I need it to do, but I really want to see if she actually likes it. Here's Miss Celine. Uh, she was napping. Again, her favorite thing to do. But we woke her up for this special occasion. So I'm gonna sit her here. I wanna see kind of what she does. Kiss her back. She's usually a pretty, like, even keel, go with the flow kind of dog. Again, she's used to being in bags, so I don't think it's gonna be much of an issue. But. Not impressed? Not impressed? Not impressed? <laughs> Let me do something here though. Let me put her in it and close it. So she's got plenty of room and I'll show you guys more in depth in a second. This is not, I mean, again, she's three pounds, so I don't expect it to be super heavy, but it's very nice to just not have the extra weight of a heavy bag. And then even with the shoulder strap, it's not heavy at all. And again, I plan on having this setting on top of my carry-on luggage anyways. But even if I had to take just this bag and carry it all day, it wouldn't be a problem. It, it's very, very lightweight. Again, I understand that my dog is really tiny, so it's going to be lighter weight anyways. But... I'm used to carrying bags on my arm with Celine in them, and a lot of those bags already have weight on them. I am super satisfied with this purchase. Let me try to show you a little closer in Celine. Okay, so here she is. I'm sorry, it's shaky. I'm actually holding the phone right now. But... Here she is in the bag itself. Again, she has so much space. And let me kind of open this up a little bit. But she has so much space in here with her. You can kind of see it better here. And she's falling asleep per usual. But you can use the little hook in here that I was talking about on this part of the bag. And you can hook it right here and then attach it to their collar or their harness. I'll probably put it on a harness for her. But yeah, I'll definitely probably have blankets and toys and a pillow or something just to keep her warm and to keep her comfortable in here. Good girl. Are you comfy? She's like, lady, what are you doing to me? Um. Okay, so... I mean, again, I'm satisfied. As long as she's not freaking out, she seems to be okay with it. We'll see when we get on the actual plane, but yeah. And really quickly, this is, excuse all of her items in the back, but this is Celine in the actual bag laying down. Again, plenty of room. I know it's because she's super tiny, 
but she has more than enough room to lay comfortably if I needed to make this a bed. So again, very, very satisfied about this purchase. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please also consider subscribing for more content if you haven't already. Thank you again for watching and Celine and I will see you guys in the next video.